Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and today we're taking a look at another 75%. This is the third to last. I have two more 75% then I will be finishing up a video basically comparing side by side as close to apples to apples as I can get with all these 75% aluminum keyboard, in stock keyboards that have come out in the last let's say three to five months roughly um, because there has been a plethora of them today we're taking a look at the nd75 from chilkey i did reach out to them and asked if i could go ahead and take a look at their keyboard as well as include it in that 75 lineup and they were gracious enough to send me out a unit which we'll be taking a look at today they do have two editions of this there is a um, assembled edition and an essential edition essential just being bare bone now they have a 1.2 uh, millimeter flex cut PCB and a 1.6 millimeter PCB, which I decided to get without the flex cut. Um, it is a pure white. Yeah, it's a non flex cut hot swap. And it looks like the colors they have is jet black, pure white, elegant purple or mountain blue. So we have a pure white edition assembled. So we're going to have a full build here. And we've got the 1.6 millimeter PCB, which personally I prefer, but um, if you do have a 1.2 millimeter PCB and you're using screw and stabilizers and they're too small because it's 1.2, you can always add extra washers. Sometimes it'll take two, sometimes maybe three, but you should be able to get that to where it'll fit. Obviously, it's best to just go ahead and use stabilizers that are meant for that size. So let's go ahead and open up the MD75 and see what this keyboard has to offer from an in-stock 75% aluminum. As always, I like to take a look at what's in the keyboard to see what's included before we actually take a look at the keyboard. So we have a three mode, 75%, and we have, this is kind of like a quick user's guide. Looks to have just a quick list of the shortcuts to switching over from Mac to Windows, Windows system, switching the connectivity mode from 2.4 to Bluetooth, and the key and lighting effects as well as sleep and battery indicators. So ND appears to stand for not defined. So this keyboard will not be defined. So this keyboard does also include a display from what I recall. And here are the instructions on how to use that. We'll be taking a look at that a little bit closer once we get to that point. And in the box, we have some hardware. We have some screws to change this to a top mount so i do believe this is a gasket naturally but it looks like it has a dual mounting system so we could choose either a top mount or a gasket mount we have a screwdriver that matches those screws we have the 2.4 gigahertz dongle and we have a ribbon cable and if i were to guess i'm going to say that's in there as a spare in case you open it up and something happens ribbon cables are very fragile um, and the slightest little tear or tug on it can break the wire inside of it having a spare ribbon cable is really nice because it's basically saying hey you know we know you might mod it and if something happens at least you've got a spare so thanks for thinking of us looks like we have some extra gaskets these to look like those spool gaskets so it definitely we have different mounting options and then we have this uh, very interesting, quite thick, rubberized USB-C to USB-A cable with some nice aluminum. That feels like aluminum. They're covered with a protective plastic so they won't get scratched up. These are actually that's a really nice cable. Cool. All right. So the function plus and minus moves us through connection mode. So... There we go. All right. Now we've got it in English now. We can all right, cycle through. All right. We've got a built-in animation already there. <laughs> uh, it's adorable. It's a little... I don't know if it's a little fox. Yeah, it looks like a little fox sleeping on a ba basket. Really fast, though. He's snoring. <laughs> it's actually a very nice display. It's very crisp and well defined so let's go all right 
So obviously we're going to have to plug in in order to um, to get. <laughs> Looks like we have NumLock on. I don't have a NumLock key anywhere around, so I don't know how I activated that. But okay. Uh, we are in Windows mode and Wired mode. We have a Caps Lock indicator. Again, it would have been nice to see a Caps Lock key with this. Definitely going to have to um, update the time because it is not twenty ninety nine. <laughs> I think that uh, if we're still around in twenty ninety nine, keyboards probably be gone. But who knows? They could still be around. It would just be all virtual keyboards. But I think we'd just be talking that by at that time, at that point. But anyway, so we do have a very nice display. Um, you have to you definitely have to go through and use the function plus keys to get to the language function enter selects function plus and minus the switches between the options so that you can put it into english and then you can understand so now the quick start guide does have a why doesn't the screen work when the cable isn't plugged in wire wireless connection is not working please remove the shift key cap and say right shift and turn on the battery switch since it is default turned off to avoid power consumption. So, I mean, I guess if you're going to keep it at your desk, you know, it will go to sleep. So it'll save power. But, like, you know, for transporting, you're going to have to have at least a switch, see a key cap puller. Now, I know myself. I don't know how many other people do this, but I started a while ago just including, I actually have two, <laughs> just in case I lose one or somebody is like, hey, can I have one? I can just give them to them. I always keep two keycap pullers now in my laptop bag. So, I mean, I don't know how much that is here or there, how many other people actually, you know, have uh, extra one of these and actually carry it around with them, but I think if you if you do that's basically going to i mean at least take care of that because right? it's not like something you're gonna you know have to be doing i mean at least maybe once a day but i don't think that's that much of a um, of an ask would have put the switch in a different spot but that's just me i'm a software designer not a keyboard designer so anyway other than that, like I said, we have a very clean looking design. I like that we have that alternate caps lock layout. I'm curious to see if we have any more. But uh, when I come back to this keyboard, we'll open it up. We'll take a look at what's inside and uh, we'll see about any modifications. But we'll definitely try out some different switches and keycaps. Not that these wouldn't satisfy, I would say, nine, nine out of ten people, I think, will have no issue without this keyboard sounds and feels out of the box. Just the specs. Today we are taking a look at the Chilkey ND75, a 75% three mode aluminum keyboard with a display, but it also is available in black, blue, and purple, which has an anodizing process for a finish. This is a screwless quick assembly case so it can be opened without any tools using the ball latch system. This keyboard allows for three different mounting options for the plate, split O-ring, silica gel, or top mount. It does have a PC plate and is preloaded with Everfree Gatoron dopamine blue switches and double shot PBT cherry keycaps. Battery capacity on this keyboard is 36 milliamp hours powered by two 1800 milliamp hour batteries. This keyboard comes weighing in at 1680 grams. The chin sits at 21 millimeters above the typing surface, while the back sits at 37 millimeters, providing for an angle of typing of six and a half degrees. This keyboard fully assembled, MSRPs for $99 on Chilkey's website. Links below. All right, so um, here I am thinking that these are uh, feet that come out, which they are, but there's no screws behind them because this uses, and that's why that sticker was here because 
We want to pull up on it, but we want to be extremely gentle as we have that ribbon cable. But as soon as we open this keyboard, things really, really start to get interesting. So let me... So then we don't damage this cable despite us having a spare. Let's go ahead and flip this up. So I messed up. I, <laughs> despite them having the extra uh, ribbon cable in here, I can say that I committed a first that I've ever done. Um, when I was removing or unclipping this clip, um, I did it with one of my spudgers and I just, I must have applied too much pressure to it because it came right off. Now I have uh, ordered another one and I will be receiving it. And once I do, I will come back and do a full overview of the screen functionality and how that works. But for right now, um, I'm just, I'm, I'm upset with myself. Uh, I just, I've never, <laughs> pretty good with ribbon cables. I've only damaged a couple after probably 10 plus years dealing with them, but I've never broken one of those clips. I, I think I was just a little too anxious and I just got a little ahead of myself. Keyboard still works. I just don't have the functionality of the screen. So when the screen does come in, I will come back to this board and cover everything about the screen functionality. Now, being as this is one of, so I do still have two other 75% boards. I'm still gonna use this one in my tier list. Um, the screen is a really nice have. Hopefully I will have the screen in before that happens. But for right now, um, I'm just gonna say that this is, probably one of the better choices out there at the price um $99 has a screen has an easy removal um it has a lot of features that I really like um and I think that a lot of people are going to be happy with this I'm pretty confident this is probably going to rank high up there on my tier list for 75% videos. Like I said, I've got two more that I will be covering here in the next two days. So once I'm done covering them, then I've got to do the 75% video. Then I've got a couple of really interesting keyboards that, that are waiting for me to get to them. But I wanted to go ahead and get this 75% out of the way. Again, this is the Chill Key ND75, not defined. And I messed up. I really messed up when it came to this. Um, I I was being careful with the cable, but like I said, I applied a little too much force and that's on me. That's not anything. I mean, the, the design and the build of this is good. I just was a little too forceful on it and it's my fault. So today I'm just going to go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test love how this keyboard sounds i mean i know some people are oh no foam or oh too much foam or oh, too little i think this just has the nice a nice balance of everything i do like the colors i love the finish on the white one um i've got plenty that are uh, anodized as the other ones are but the finish on this the ele electrophoretic if i'm saying it correctly is just gorgeous the weight on this the feet um, I like that they're not sticky. I, I've had sticky feet eventually just fall off. Um, these are pushed into place. So it is really nice. Um, again, if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them down in the comment section below. As I said, I will come back to this keyboard and do a follow-up video where I show all of the functionality, the software, and the screen but today i'm just going to go ahead and leave you with a stock sound test um, as always any questions comments put them down below um, 
If you enjoyed this video, a thumbs up, a subscribe really does go a long way. For right now, I want to wish everybody out there in YouTube land a wonderful day. And until the next transmission, keep calm and keep one on.